For more, I'm joined by Mary Harper, BBC World Service African editor. Thanks for taking time to talk to us. The general has travelled many times to the UK. A lot of people are now asking, why now? What have you heard? Exactly. This is the million dollar question. He has been to the UK several times before. He has never been arrested before. There's some talk that perhaps this arrest warrant, this European arrest warrant, was only activated in the last few days, but that hasn't been confirmed. There's other rumours about Rwandan opposition people uh, tipping off the police about his presence here. But the police would have known every time he came, so it really is still a bit of a mystery why he's been arrested this time. We've seen past incidences of uh, fallouts uh, between Rwandan government and other governments, uh, France and Rwanda, uh, uh, forcing Rwanda to move to the Commonwealth. What is the possible fallout now between Rwanda and the UK, if any? Well, at the moment, Britain is in a very difficult position, and it's interesting. The British uh, government issued a statement where they put everything on the British Metropolitan Police and said it was they were legally obliged to arrest him. But then in the next sentence of the statement, they said that Britain had played a crucial role in rebuilding Rwanda after the genocide, that Britain and Rwanda have a very important good relationship but Rwanda is not at all happy with Britain at the moment and it certainly has pulled no punches at all in the, in the kind of words and language it's used towards the British authorities. Does it put the UK in a difficult position at all? It does because the, I think that the British are still keen to maintain this uh, warm relationship with Rwanda that despite uh, 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 the, the sort of crushing of the media in Rwanda and uh, Rwanda's alleged involvement in other wars in other parts of Africa in neighbouring states, uh, the disappearance and arresting of, of opposition people, Britain always holds up Rwanda as this economic miracle, one of Africa's success stories, and for it to lose uh, Rwanda as one of its darlings on the continent would be quite a big blow to Britain. All right, Mary Harper, thank you.